What are you guys currently doing? Oh, we are rehearsing for our next tour. We're going to be going to South America, then we go mm -hmm. to Mexico, and then it seems that we're going to be going to the U.S. Uh, I haven't been there in about five years, so... That's what Guns N' Roses. Long overdue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Great. yeah, with, with Guns N' Roses. Uh, we're here in Los Angeles, North Hollywood. And uh, Bumblefoot, just tell me what makes these amps so special. You're playing an Engel Invader 100. The blue 100. lights. The blue the lights. lights. Look how pretty they are. Do you yeah. see the blue lights in there? Yeah. Every time I see them, I just get all happy. It makes me you've play been, better. You've been using these amps now for about two years with this band, as well as you have one at home. One at home. We've been using them for everything. Using yeah. it for recording. Using them in the studio. Yeah. Uh, everything. Yeah. All the music of my own stuff I've been putting out. Uh, everyone I've been like producing and working with. Yeah. Uh, I'm just. You know, just running these through through an Invader 100 watt head, and no complaints. So yeah, you're really good in explaining this amp. I know you are. So tell me, when you play knobs and lights, it's got knobs and lights. When you play I like through it. this amp, why do you think this amp m stands out from maybe some other amps that, well, you, that you played before? Let me give you my spiel. Here's yeah. my spiel. Um, what I was always looking for and never mm -hmm. quite was able to find was a two band that had my two favorite things which is sort of like the vintage warmth in the middle and just the tone you know something yeah. that that pushes the sound with the tone mm -hmm. and this has that but at the same time I wanted some some balls I wanted something that's gonna really drive and this has that so you can dial in as much as you need of either of those two characters and right. for a lot of the stuff uh, I'll be using channel 2 for well, actually pretty much for everything I use channel 2 if I need really an extra kick I use channel 3 channel 4 just mm. is overwhelmingly yeah yeah down there yeah that's why I have a tech yeah are, are you using the why isn't this working are you using why isn't this working are you using the high gain mode as well Bumblefoot? um i have been yeah. yeah i keep it in high gain on on number two yeah that's uh, a great channel yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It, to me that one has all the uh, the nice warm middle mm -hmm. that i'm always going for that i'm always looking for yeah. and it has that and you know just like when things sustain from the tone more than than the saturation and mm -hmm. you can definitely get that in there Right now it's a little noisy just because we got fluorescent lights and I'm next to a bunch of gear and computers. And um, That's coming from the ISO box, so it sounds yeah, it's a little, little clamped up. Yeah, but great. And channel three, if mm -hmm. you really need things to just kind of scream and hold and and just get a little more metal in your shit mm -hmm. uh three is perfect for that uh, when you do this you could mm -hmm. technically uh push in the noise gate oh sure yeah the noise gate is not always using this. sorry but the noise gate is fantastic it, it mm -hmm. has a very smart decay to it mm -hmm. it really doesn't clamp too hard at the end yeah. <laughs> It's quiet. So yeah, nice. Yeah, the noise gate kicks ass. I usually at home I'm using it just to right. keep it extra quiet. Right. Um, now within the band with Guns mm -hmm. and Roses, you have yeah, the Guns and the Roses. You have three guitar players, right? We do. Can't always be easy to have the perfect frequency for every player but it seems to work out to having having a the tool the angle tool yeah it, it, right? it has it its own character yeah. and it, it it helps differentiate my sound from this guy's sound from that guy you know yeah uh, DJ's got his thing Richard has his thing I got my thing and mm -hmm. you can hear the separation because the amp itself definitely has a character um, you can hear it as you're just doing like two notes at once and they're oscillating in a certain way that only the angle really just makes it kind of just like growl and uh, I mean it's just like you could really hear it in the bottom of it just like really just fucking grinding and I love that it, it actually changed the way I play I find that I'm playing more to bring out the things that sound cool with the amp where in the past when I was using different amps I might just do what I do 
And since having this, I just love the sound of that shit, and I just find myself doing it so much more where I'll just be just holding a note, it's making me play tastier, damn it. It's the way it should um, be. Yeah. Make, yeah, cool. make make the player happy first, and then yeah. everybody else around it. We know we hear that uh, sound engineers love it in the studio mm -hmm. or live monitor engineers because it cuts through. It has this clarity, yeah. and soundmen can work with it. You know, you can really dial a great sound in with with the angle amps. It has a lot of bandwidth. I mean, if you start mm. turning up the you know that beefy bottom stuff, which I barely even We're on the bottom go near. Yeah. Like the whole depth thing. I mean, it gets right. so much bottom. Yeah, the depth, the depth punch on the output section. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I know. Used a big word for a guitar. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I mean, the presence gives it a great sizzle, but a tasteful one. It's not like too harsh. Yeah. Um, there's a really that's another good thing that in the studio, which is cool. I mean, besides you get all those warm mid tones that will stick out. You can also, if you really need the thing to get beefed up or sizzle, you can get that out of it too. Great. So for me, like I just love the Invader head. For me, it just has that versatility in one amp where all the different channels, you can get all of that stuff out of it. So yeah. So. And you know, you and I, we've been through how many amps and how many concoctions of, of preamps and power amps and yes. trying every single thing. And this was just the one. And even after we came up with our own thing, I remember I took one of these on the road uh, a couple of years ago doing some yeah. other stuff. Yeah. And I remember coming back and we were going to start up with guns and I was like, you know what, just give me a straight head, you know, nothing fancy, just let me plug into the head and all is good. That's great. And yeah. And that's, that's what... It delivers. Yeah. That's perfect. It's cool. So I'm damn happy. Excellent. I'm a happy camper. Right there you have it. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, check, in, check back on Angle TV, www. <laughs> angle-amps.com This is Michael Thanks. Yeah. Alright, thank you everybody for checking out this video and uh, for listening to me babble about these wonderful amps and hopefully I'll be seeing you out there and you'll be hearing these amps and, and uh I look forward to that, whether it's, you know, with guns or something I'm doing, or if you hear it on some of the songs I've been putting out every month, or with uh, this called Pac that I just produced her album. It's all angle on there, so check that one out when it comes out too. Yeah, yeah.